Hey people, so today is our first review on this channel and we're going to be reviewing a movie that we just recently watched and it is called Storm with, you probably couldn't see the cover that well, but this is what it looks like, Storm. It's got Luke Perry, James Vanderbeek, and just some other movies in it, or other movies in it, other people in it. It's got that one chick that played in Seinfeld, I think her name is Terry somebody, Terry Polo, I could be wrong, that blonde head chick right here, she played in Seinfeld as George Costanza's fiance that he killed off, Susan, you guys remember her, I think that's who that is, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is, but anyway, it's got some other people too, I thought it was going to be a good movie, but before we get to that, let me just show you the case, it's got this cool, like, case cover, cardboard thing over it, and it's really neat because it's like, what do you call it when it's like that, like beveled edge or whatever? Yeah. And it's just a regular plain DVD case. It does not have the little snaps on it like the nicer DVDs do. And it only has one disc. No inserts. At least the copy I bought did. Um, it's not rated. And this movie came out in 2009. So, and I think this is one of the ones that I had got at my local grocery store for like three bucks, if I'm not mistaken. So, in my opinion, straight off the rip, I'm going to tell you, I didn't like the movie. What about you? What do you think? Special effects were sloppy at best. Yeah, you could definitely tell us what CGI is what they call it. It was horrible. It was poorly executed. Yeah, I mean, I think the basis of the movie, the plot, the general idea that the movie was going for, I think it would have turned out good had they would not have used all the special effects that they did. What do you think? I mean, do you think if they actually made it into a really good, like, popular movie? Me personally, a high school media, you know, class could have done a better job. I don't know if it was that bad. I would say it was. It's just, it, it couldn't keep me entertained. I, I'm not going to lie. And James Vanderbeek and Luke Perry are both semi-respectable TV actors. I mean, you know, I've never really seen them in nothing really big, super well-known, like... Also, uh, Treat Williams as well. He's a well-known actor. But, no. Um, yeah. Would, I wouldn't recommend anybody to watch the movie. <laughs> I, I mean, if you want to waste some time and have nothing better to do, then by all means, go watch it. Because, I mean, the plot is interesting. It's like Nature Strikes Back. It talks about, look, it's just with eye-popping special effects and amazing action. Oh, my gosh. No. Well, it's not really Nature Strikes Back. It's well, that's the human it race is manipulating nature. Yeah, but to me, the way that it says, though, eye-popping special effects and amazing action, I felt like this movie was put out in 2009. I felt like I was watching something from the early 90s. Mm -hmm. Did you not feel that way, too? It was bad. I mean, they could even, there was one part where it was showing the weather and, like, the little, you know, the old super big antennas? What do they call them? Like, satellite dishes? Yes. They put a green screen behind the satellite dishes to make it look like some other kind of weather. And I'm like, whoa, like me doing YouTube, I could tell it instantly. So in my opinion, I would definitely give this movie a thumbs down. Do not purchase, do not buy. I wouldn't even recommend renting it and watching it. Um, I know it's a pretty harsh review overall, but I mean, what what do you think? I mean, get this, or me, go ahead and tell it first. Me personally, if the actors in this movie you know, I'm surprised that they still have careers because it was that bad. It was that bad. And I thought I was getting something good because it's well-known actors. I mean, I like Luke Perry for a long time. Well, Treat, uh, Treat Williams is uh, known for his role in yeah, the movie. Is that not him? Yes. He's known for the role in The Substitute. He's talking about that guy. I don't know if my camera's going to pick him up too good. Uh, uh, no, it's not going to pick it up too good. But... I just don't know. That was a waste of time and a waste of money. It was so bad. This is how bad it was. You seen how I showed you there was one disc in the little DVD case right here? We're sitting here watching the movie, and Joseph is like, oh my goodness, like, really? Are we really going to watch this? And I'm like, yes, because we're going to do a review on it. All of a sudden, 
the movie go it starts showing the credits in the middle of the movie like it come to this part like a i guess it's supposed to be the cliffhanger in the middle of the movie and then the credits start rolling and then it goes back to the menu and it makes you have to select part two and i looked at joseph i said yeah we're not going to watch part two to me it was so bad if you're going to have two parts on a dvd it should be on two separate yes. discs or like at least let the people know at the beginning like on the menu when you turn the dvd on and instead of it should instead of pressing play it should say part one and part two but to me it's like something that, that aired on tv it's like a tv movie isn't it like one that comes on like lifetime that or something never, never hit theaters yeah i don't even know if this hit theaters to be honest but yeah it was so bad that i didn't even want to look at the special features because the special effects were horrible so why would i why would i want to look at the special features but that's my opinion i mean like i said if they took this movie and remade it use the same plot and same story i they'd have to use different characters they couldn't use I'm the same sorry, people but, you know when star wars you know when it come out it had better special effects and it's the older movie yes and this movie come out here what what year did it come 2009 out? yeah it, it should have had honestly special effects that you couldn't distinguish i felt like i was watching you guys remember the really old movies where it's like um what is it called with like the chinese or japanese people and they're fighting like kung fu movies mm -hmm. and the chinese or japanese person would be talking and their mouth could not keep up with the language or you know them talking i felt like i was watching that but only with action scenes and it's like I'm just sitting there. Uh, you're I, sitting there waiting for something to happen, and you're just like, and you're you you get really disappointed. <laughs> yeah, it's super disappointment. Oh, I still see my little kissy lips on your face. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna give a review on Next lipstick. Yeah, it transfers. Show them. <laughs> but anyhow, so yeah, so overall, would you give this movie a thumbs up or a thumbs down? That would be like a negative million. Yeah, give them your thumbs down. This That's... is our thumbs down. Don't, don't. This is a big don't. And if you don't want to, if you want me to prove it, I'll send this movie to you so you can watch it. It's it's bad. But anyhow, that's. But pretty... of course, if you like low budget movies that... from the early '90s that was produced in the last decade, or actually the last... filmmaking, but done badly yeah i don't know poor luke perry <laughs> he's but, past his prime 90210 is so hey no dumb. he done a really good movie beside that's tv 90210 Still. what is that called five seconds or something that he was in eight seconds eight seconds he yes played the role of a mm -hmm. uh, professional bull rider. that was a good movie oh it was it was a good movie but you know, anyhow like a, you know but we're talking about this. Well, this was a no-no. When actors get up in age, they tend to make sloppy movies. Oh, and Unless there was like... Clint Eastwood. And there was one scene, too, where they were trying to say that he killed that girl, like his ex-girlfriend or something, and he went in there, and that other dude had broke in and stabbed her. Remember, and it ripped the shower curtain? Oh, that scene was horrible. The blood looks so fake, you could tell. And I expected a whole lot better for... We're in the 2000s. We're in the age of technology. We shouldn't be looking at stuff that's still from, like, the 90s. But, anyhow, you people... I would honestly say 80s. Yeah. I don't know if I'd go that far back. It was that bad. But, I mean, like you said, Star Wars was better in this much older movie. Mm -hmm. But, back then, they put quality into making movies instead of hurrying and slapping a bunch of yeah. stuff together. Like they do now. But anyhow, I want you guys to leave in the comments below. Have you ever seen this movie? And if you do decide to go take a gander and go watch it, I want you to make sure you come back to the video and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I mean, do you want to know if somebody out there liked it? I would. If you like this movie, please come back and let us know. Leave it in the comments below. And also, if there's a movie that you'd like us to review, leave that in the comments below too. And we'll go ahead and check that out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys later. Tell people bye. Thank <laughs> you.